Greetings, worthy friends. It is I, the Count. They call me the Count because I love to count things. Halloween has returned, and I'm very excited. We have yet another special spooky story to tell. Why? You'll have to find out. Ha, ha, ha. Ah, that's one. One ding-dong. Ha, ha, ha. Count, it's us. Ah, trick-or-treaters have come to pay me a Halloween visit. What a surprise. You are all wearing such wonderful costumes. I shall count them. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six beautiful costumes. Ha, ha, ha. Uh, thanks. All right, enough of the costumes and the counting. Where's the candy? Wait a second, the basket of candy is empty. Oh, I was supposed to give them to you? I'm sorry, I must have gotten a little peckish, since lots of people don't usually come here on Halloween. What for? I guess it has something to do with that mysterious cemetery located right across from my castle. Well, it's time I tell you one spooky tale. Spooky? Legend has it every year on Halloween night, when the full moon rises, a mysterious and carnivorous werewolf lurks around the old abandoned cemetery, searching for victims to devour to satisfy its endless hunger. But if someone were to get only a scratch from a werewolf, he or she will be turned into a blood-hungry werewolf. Their humanity will be overlooked by the primal impulse for flesh that they crave, and they will turn against even the people that they love. But werewolves are very unpredictable. Okay, that's just ridiculous. Y yeah, <laughs> everyone knows there's no such thing as werewolves. And there are also no such thing as vampires. And yet, here we are. Well, I guess we should be heading home. <laughs> uh, bye, Count. Happy Halloween! Bye-bye, friends. Halloween is one wonderful holiday. Ha, ha, ha. Hey, guys. You know what we should do? Rub mustard on ourselves and sing show tunes? What? No! Let's go through the old abandoned cemetery. But what about the Count's story? Uh, excuse me. Didn't you just say that there's no such thing as werewolves? So, if there are no such thing as werewolves, then it's perfectly safe to go across the cemetery. Aren't you coming? Uh, I think I just saw something. What? And is that a werewolf? I, I don't know. Should we run? Yeah, maybe. <laughs> yeah! Oh, oh my god. Elon! Elon! You alright? Yeah. Oh my god, you're not, you're not fine. You just got scratched. Oh my god. Come on, let's go. <sighs> Are you alright, baby, man? Yeah, cow. I'm fine. Are you sure? That werewolf really took a number on you. Probably it was just a regular wolf. There's no such thing as werewolves, just like there's no such thing as... Well, ghosts or whatever. Well, yes, but seriously. I mean, you could probably turn into a werewolf in any minute. Trust me, cow. Whatever the cow said was obviously not true. I'm gonna be fine. Alright. I'm still gonna walk you home. That's what best is best friends do. <sighs> Man, I'm surprised you haven't decorated that much. Woo! Whoa. There really is a full moon out tonight. It's beautiful, isn't it, baby lad? Baby lad? Oh, he must have gained back all his energy or something. <laughs> the next morning. Wow. It's dangerously windy today, don't you think? You know, when the wind howls like that, it kind of sounds like a ghost. You know, you guys don't have to keep wearing those costumes. Hey, it makes us feel important. Hey, guys. Hey, b <gasps> 
What? Uh, aren't you a bit too young to be putting on lipstick? That's not a lipstick, you dunderhead! That's blood! Freaking blood! What? You mean he's bleeding? Man, you guys must have been snoring too much sugar or something. I mean, you know what that can do to your brain. Oh, oh, dang! That is blood! Or maybe you fell asleep after eating a lot of caramel apples. You know how messy they can get. No, dude, that's obviously blood. How is that even possible, baby lamb? You were fine yesterday, then all of a sudden you wake up and you're covered in blood. We interrupt this program with some breaking news. Just last night on Halloween, dozens of reports have been addressed that there's a rampaging monster terrorizing innocent trick-or-treaters. Many deaths have been spotted. A reliable source has drawn a sketch of what the creature looks like. It appears it's some kind of rare creature with a body of a sheep. Oh, a sheep! Oh, thank goodness. For a second there, I thought they were going to say he's a lamb. Therefore, we're calling it a were lamb. The chief of police has this to say about the incident. We are not going to stand here and let this creature terrorize and devour all of our townspeople. My crew is hard at work investigating the whereabouts of this mysterious predator. Yeah, we're just gonna be investigating underneath our bed sheets. <sighs> For whatever reason, this were lamb will be found and he will be brought to justice. Whoa, I never knew the Count's story was so realistic. Baby lamb, are you sure you had nothing to do with this? What? C come on, this is me we're talking about. I wouldn't hurt a fly. Maybe. But the only way for you to have blood on your lips is if you had a very violent power lunch yesterday. Oh, and you guys stop interrogating my best friend. We all know that Baby Lamb is like the nicest person in the neighborhood. And we all know that he would definitely not do anything as violent or tragic as, well, eating people. Especially if he eats something that's not his. Well, there's only one way to know whether or not he is. Are you guys crazy? I can't even move. Well, sorry, baby lamb, but it's for your own good. Yeah, we're gonna stay here and watch you all night. If you turn into a werewolf, then, well, it's the story lonesome for you. I can't believe you guys would turn against your own friend like this. I'm innocent! Yeah, guys. Sorry, but your friend is a menace to society. But won't you guys get tired or something? Nope. We're going to stay wide awake. Uh oh. I thought you set the alarm on your phone to midnight. I did, but then my phone ran out of battery. I was playing too much Angry Birds. Well, apparently, despite the fact that we tied the baby lamb up very good, he managed to break free. There we go. He's a werewolf. Uh, were lamb. <laughs> hey, baby lamb. How you doing, bro? <laughs> Dude, how long was literally yesterday? I don't know why you're still wearing that costume. Yeah, but it's a very great costume, very realistic. Makes you look like an actual werewolf. <laughs> What's the matter? Can I got your tongue or something? You got a sore throat? Hungry, need more food. I can't believe how hard it's going to be to find Baby Lamb. Yeah, especially now that he's a freaking monster. So he's probably going to be searching the whole town for people to eat. And to, you know, become victims. If only there was some evidence that proved to us that he was here. Hey guys, look! Bill and Major have his helmets! Look at me! He... He ate them! 
No way. Wait a second. Majax would never go anywhere without his helmet. He did eat them! Hey guys, look! Mm. Mm. My food's bacon! Oh, yeah. <laughs> this one's spoiled. <laughs> it's because I'm green, isn't it? Juicy. Hey! Huh? You get your hands off the most adorable cartoon character that has ever lived. We know that's not really you doing all these things, baby lamb. It's just your new werewolf impulse. You need to fight it. You need to fight it, dude. Wait. <clears throat> no, you can't chase the way I feel. Baby lamb, please. It's me. Your bestest best friend. Hmm? Big juicy hamburger cow, which is even better than mouse. <laughs> now on my watch. Yeah. <sighs> what are you gonna do to me? I'm gonna fight fire with fire. <sighs> Mission accomplished. You're welcome. But, Roger! What? I said you're welcome, isn't that like... Dude, do you know what you did? Uh, yeah, I just saved your sorry butts from getting eaten by that crazy werewolf. I mean, who knows, maybe they'll make me a star. That werewolf was literally... Baby Lamb! Has a werewolf! Oh. oh, this is awkward. I gotta go. Does that mean Baby Lamb is... I guess so. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, hey guys. <gasps> They're close! No, Cal, it's just me. So wait, does that mean you're... Yep, apparently. But what a way to go. <laughs> Hey, Cal, I'm so sorry I tried to eat you. Hi, don't worry, baby lab. I'm sure you would do the same for me. <laughs> <laughs> I don't get it. Well, what are we waiting for, guys? We still got lots and lots of Halloween fun to have. But well, isn't Halloween like yesterday? Who cares? Exactly. Young or old, Halloween is for everyone. Ah, another Halloween has come and gone. But I think we've learned a very important lesson. No matter how old you get, you'll always find a way to enjoy Halloween. We hope you found a way to enjoy your Halloween. So, like always, Happy Halloween to all, and to all a good fright. Ah, ah, ah. <laughs> <laughs>